Ten six nine and girl, that's a, it's a medium weight shooter with high damage. It 85 per shot of no fall off and really low fire rate. The basic shooter paint pattern, but yeah, due to the low fire rate, the coverage is really slow while, while paint as well. Painting exactly a line it works well enough still. Also, strafe speed is really slow here, so what I'm gonna say right ahead, you're swimming to your advantage. Whenever you actually need to move, swim, jump out of it. Really let me remove that paint so I can actually it better. Yeah, and something that you also saw right there is it doesn't really paint its feet well. So you do want to be moving forward into your paint if you can. I mean, hopefully you can. <laughs> However, don't jump spam ever with this, because you see, the energy gets really, really bad when you jump, so yeah, don't do that. Yeah, I'm missing so many dead shots here, but if I'm just standing still, I'm gonna hit of them pretty much. Love rays are overkilled by quite a lot. Jumps are overkilled by quite a lot. Yes, other shooters are typically more efficient at killing jumps, but if you have to, it's not the end of the world still. Against Koax, you are very efficient, of course. 240 25 damage here, which is actually a fun fact here because that is exactly the damage per second that this has. One second to kill a Koax, exactly. <laughs> of course, you must have four big HP targets. Also, with, with Steelheads, you have quite a lot of leeway with actually killing them. Need only exactly four shots and have time for I don't know what seven or something maybe. If you're late there, it's fine. You should you should still try and there's a good chance you might actually get the kill. Really nice. You, you do have this very much above average range as well to do that. Yeah, there's not much to say about this really. Quite small phrase. Try to avoid champs. But yeah, if you have to hit either of them, like do it for a bit and then go somewhere else. Fine. This being a shooter after all, you can refill, you can be safe. You can find your preferred targets. But for fish sticks, of course, you can hit them from the ground easily. Over there's RNG and there's not really much you can do about that. Okay, I've tried. Right. Like holding and releasing ZR, but doesn't really look different with the energy, so whatever. And you can experiment with it if you want to. That's a really good weapon for fish sticks, even though you can miss sometimes. Just pay attention. Stingers, you are one-shotting the parts from far away, of course, even with fall off. But the lowest fall off damage is 73 roughly, so yeah. You will never fail to kill a stinger pot, and that is really nice. Okay, that I believe cover everything there is to say about bosses. Get to night waves. Also not to stay here. It, it, is, it is of course really solid at all of them. Not, not exactly uh, the best at all of them, just like it's not the best in normal waves, but still really good. Very much above average. Really above average. <laughs> yeah, and Rush, you're, you're one shotting the champs, you're dealing really good damage to the Goldie. You have really nice range as well. So, pretty much do whatever, is whatever the team currently needs, and you'll be fine. Drillers, help with the stuns, prioritize DPS, avoid the small fries. Well, if the team is completely ignoring them, then try to help still. I also try to the best of your ability and just make them deal with them be because that would be better still. But then on Seeking, you're, you're really good to open Fire Gushers and whenever the Goldie is out, make it cray. You can do it from pretty much wherever on the map due to your, due to your range, so positioning should be pretty easy. You should hopefully get that up every time you have this weapon in the comp. Some others that are not too bad for the job. Right, that's everything about the 0.69 girl.